We're a little bit stuck. <laughs> it's only a little bit. Not too much. Not too much? Dude, that's a 35 tire. <laughs> right here. Oh. Uh. <laughs> yeah, our truck um died and when we we're coming down the hill, so we're gonna have to get a new fuel pump. So guys, here we are in our first real test of the uh, power wagon. We've got my buddy out in his Tacoma in front of us, and uh, my brother behind us. Get a shot of the meat there, Shia. Get a shot of that's my brother in his uh, 2009 Ram 1500, and then our buddy Chris in front of us in a 2021 Toyota Tacoma. He's rocking uh, KO2 tires, and I'm rocking um, dirt tracks. So as you can see, we are in some pretty deep snow. Uh, some spots we've had uh, upwards of two feet already. So we're just gonna keep plugging and chugging down this road and see um, how far we can make it up. Yeah, let's keep plugging and chugging and see where we end up, boys. And oh yeah, another side note, my brother brought his quad as a contingency plan. So she's getting rowdy, as you can see on the side. I need to get it mounted here. zoom in on it. Uh, about a kilometer up the road, there's a big turnaround spot. Good. That's the yeah, only. Justin, that was the only thing giving. That was yeah. the only thing giving me anxiety. I was like, oh my god, I'm never going to be able to turn around. I know. Well, she's deep, boys. I mean, that's uh, 35 inch tires. We're still dragging. Are you stuck? Oh, yeah. Anxious, yeah. No. Okay, good. I am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're uh, plugging and chugging. Yeah, we're kind of stuck. <laughs> we're a little bit stuck. <laughs> Holy crap, eh? It's only a little bit. Not too much. Not too much? Dude, that's a 35 tire. <laughs> I can't get out. Like, I'm stuck forever. Hey, look. Look. Do you dare me to do it? Oh. <laughs> yeah, look. The steps. The steps are in the snow. Just get on my door. There you go, guys. What? 48 hours after getting the truck? I buried her in the snow. That's a 35. We stuck. <laughs> we'll get her out. Yeah, we've uh, we buried her pretty good. And yes, I still don't have my winch on there in case you're wondering why we're digging. Let's see. Yeah, Toyota's oh. not stuck. No, Toyota and the other Dodge. All your so. renovation needs, call 250. <laughs> it's the cocky power wagon owner that thinks he can get through everything. <laughs> Typical. Yeah, Seems. Seems really familiar back to my days of owning the stupid Hummer, but whatever. Dig it. Yeah. got Jeremy's truck out. <laughs> yes, yeah, status so update. Fire. We uh, aired down to uh, 7 PSI, dug what we could. Now we're going to uh, dig a flat spot and hope that uh, all three trucks can turn around. We're on our way. We, uh, as you've seen, we got her unstuck. We're going to go down the road, apparently about half a kilometer down the road. There's a nice spot. We're going to uh, stop there, have a fire. Have some lunch and uh, worry about turning around up there.
Well, this is not what we wanted to see. We were hoping we could um, turn around here, but as you can see, things aren't always as they seem. There you go. Oh. There we go. No, he's buried. Yeah. It's actually really impressive what those things can do with the the um, onboard system. It's a turn. I just kind of made it look easy. Uh oh. I shouldn't open my mouth. You say that. Yeah, well, I was the only reason I was saying you're right because there's a rut right there. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm not the only one that got stuck. Do you, hey, you want just a little tug backwards, Chris? Do you want just a little tug backwards? Or do you want me to go? I should have gone further back and stepped forward like this. <laughs> Chris, will this fit through your uh, trailer hitch thing? Yeah, oh yeah. Here. The back of it. it takes out his window. Smash! <laughs> no, that'd be great. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. There's kids in there. Yeah, you're old truck. I've never seen yeah. a shackle like that before. The soft toes? Yeah. yeah. We don't know what He's it was. Fine. It was either well, his seat that around. flung backwards. <laughs> he just had an hour of running. Yeah. Oh, or fair it was enough. the yeah. Odyssey. He had an hour. Really, just like that? No, it goes through and then you loop it back. Oh, no, okay. Oh. <laughs> He's exhausted from shoveling. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was like, so shoveling on the other vehicle already for like I don't uh, get these rock hard abs by shoveling every day, yeah. guys. What abs? We can't zip it, kid. It's a mulch in that. Yeah. Well, probably would have been able to turn around better back there or we dug it out than here. Yeah. So. You tried. <laughs> Usually, your glass end were up here, there was a whole bunch of tracks all through. Well, I got, it just snowed up here, though, right? Well, for two weeks ago, there was a lot of snow up here since two weeks. Yeah. You want your... get by him now yeah well no what we're gonna do is now i'm gonna pull him back uh, to get it. end here right well you're stuck so that's what you're doing now. as you've seen we made it completely out uh toyota got stuck twice i got stuck twice the uh my brother's ram with the uh, quad in the back he only got stuck once go figure right but that was we planned it out a little bit better that way but uh all in all that was great i got to use my uh, brand new kinetic recovery rope and man let me tell you I should have been using kinetic ropes for years like if you haven't used one I strongly recommend getting a kinetic recovery rope because we literally took a run of like 10 feet and there was barely any jerkiness it was absolutely incredible so yeah we uh, we conquered the three feet of snow we're we're working our way back out now
Hey YouTube. Um Yeah. Our truck um died when we were coming down the hill, so we're gonna have to get a new fuel pump and yeah. So my dad's just working on the truck right now. Here, I'll show you. Dad's just working on the truck right now. Figuring out what's wrong with it. What? For the YouTube video. What? For the YouTube video. Oh. I'm closing the door, watch your hand. The fuel pump. The, fu the fuel pump got plugged. So we're gonna have to get a new one. Put the tools. More tools. Very snowy. And if, in case if you're wondering, these are not bullet holes. This is a mirror used to be here, so that and they didn't like it, so they took it off. Well, she's running. Now we just gotta put it back together. She is quite the mess under there, but I'll get her done. I'm a loner now. <laughs> I'll uh I'll get it done. At least I can ride the quad if I need to. Alrighty guys, well, after a long cold night, I um I finally got it to go. You can see uh, we got some steam in the tailpipe. See that? Old pump is right there. We um, we ended up losing one of the bolts for the uh, tank strap. So my brother ran into town to uh, to grab one of them. But whoops, covered the camera. But man, let me tell you, what a pain in the butt. I mean, it's it was like minus five out here, which isn't that bad. But you add into the fact that you're laying on wet ground it makes for not a very good night so we stayed here till 1 30 i didn't want to leave the truck here because it's, this area is not really a good area and i was worried about somebody stealing my wheels but i called it at 1 30 when we lost that bolt oh and i don't have the other clip on me but i lost one of the um fuel line clips what a joke so i had to go to dodge and get them there's 24 bucks each or sorry 12 bucks each so 24 bucks for two of them but yeah there you have it what a disaster of our our first test of wheeling our new rig. <laughs> but we should be good, but man, this... Uh, let me flip you around here real, real quick. One sec. All right. So how, you can see the strainer in there. I mean, I don't know if you, how good it's picking it up, but it is absolutely caked and filthy. So I think this truck sat a while, and then uh, just, you know, the shake, rattle, and rolling of wheeling, just it packed it in. Oh, why do we got such a foggy camera? What's going on here? Yeah, so there we have it. We got her going. So once my brother gets back from town, we will uh, two-man handle that tank in there with the jack. It's full. There's 150 liters of fuel in there, so not ideal. But we had to get it up kind of the way it is. We had to support it up because the lines are so short. So at least it's ready to be jacked up and all that. Skid plates, I'm not worried about putting the skid, skid plates back on. I'll do that when we get back to town. I ended up breaking... Uh, which one was it? Uh, this side here, I broke those two bolts that go into the frame. So that's kind of unfortunate. Can't really do much about it. Um, I'll just end up having to weld a nut on it and back them out. Hopefully I can get them out like that. But worst case scenario, I'll just drill another freaking hole and put one more bolt in there. But yeah, there you have it, guys. Our first uh, our first wheel and adventure in the power, power wagon. Didn't quite go as planned definitely didn't go off without a hitch we still had fun i mean i've still got a smile on my face i'm not mad i'm not upset i mean i'm a little bit a little bit bummed out you know that something like this happens when you have a truck for two days but i'm i'm glad it happened now i mean it would have been better if it didn't happen here but um 
But the way it did happen was kind of best case scenario, having friends and family around to at least, you know, take a little bit of that stress away and having to deal with that and having my kids, you know, worry about them being cold and whatnot. So that was pretty good. Um, I got to try out my uh, new air compressor. I bought a, um, a twin cylinder air compressor. So it fills up my 35s. I don't know if you can see it. Direct drives plugged into the battery fills up from uh, 10 psi to 35 psi in about two and a half three minutes so i'm pretty happy with that so yeah all in all it was great um not bitter maybe a little bit bitter but <laughs> what do you expect uh we're gonna run into these things it's an older truck it's not perfect so once he gets back we'll get that tank uh crammed up in there and like i said i'll worry about the skid plate uh when we're back at my place and have it in the heated garage so uh, appreciate you guys all stopping by. Please, uh, if you like this video, smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content. And you know what? If you want to see it as it's happening, smash the bell notification. Um, until next time, guys, stay, stay, stay safe, stay warm, because I know I sure as heck didn't. And uh, we'll see you on the next one, guys. All right. Well, we got it back together. Tank's in there. It is being held in by a ratchet strap because we went too fast and all with our nut what we wanted to get for the uh, fuel tank strap and they gave us the wrong freaking one. So, yeah, we're gonna uh, at least get it into town and I'll grab a nut then, but uh, yeah, she's going, still running. <laughs>